good looking. Today's workout is a sweaty Toto body ab workout. You are gonna need some tools. I would like you to grab one pair of moderate dumbbells and then just one light dumbbell. Now beginners, don't worry about the light dumbbell. We're gonna go with body weight for you. All right, awesome. Grab your gear, let's go get busy. So we've got nine exercises, three rounds, dumbbells, body weight, and we're training the abs super hard because we're working a lot of single arm and single leg drills. When that happens, we need the opposite side oblique area, our waist muscles, to fire up to help stabilize us. So this is good stiff. All right, let's start with feet apart, toes turned out, taking it into a nice easy side to side lunge just to get warmed up. Now when we lunge, our knees trap with our toes, our tush pushes back, and we hinge to that hip joint so we're not rounding the back. Now if you are new to my channel, hey, I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget before you go, subscribe, click that notification bell. I'll let you know every time I drop a damn good workout. Only let you know about the good workouts, okay? Not the bad ones. Last four. Two more. And release, bring the feet underneath the hips, arms extend out, drop the bum into a squat, lift up off the heels. Good job, those arms are gonna stay level with the body, palms facing down, shoulders away from those ears while we squat rear, bending those knees, getting everything warmed up in the ankle, knee and hip joint with this. Whew, I'm already out of breath. Boy, am I in for it. Four more. Three, two, last one, one. All right, alternating lunges, step back, swing the arms up, reach up, drop the knee to the ground, arms down, other leg. This front knee stays lined up with the ankle. Arms are straight, we're trying to get through those shoulders, get those guys warmed up while we continue warming up the lower body. Now, I went really ambitious with my weights today. <laughs> so, if you see me run off camera, then that means I'm going to get a lighter weight. If you see me in the fetal position, that means I went too far. <laughs> Last four, three, one more each leg. Excellent, single leg kicks, get into the hamstrings there, left leg extends back, kick up, and do it again. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can and swing it up as high as you can. Feel that dynamic pull on the back of your thigh. We have 10, then we switch. Last three, two, one. Other leg, here we go. Pay attention to how high your leg's coming because that's your hamstrings telling you whether or not they're flexible. And we need to keep those guys nice and flexible for a healthy low back. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab a sip of water because I'm about to demo the first few moves and we're gonna get this party started. Okay there, I'm gonna demo the first two moves and then I'll coach you as we go through the rest of the moves. The first one's a renegade row. We're training a ton of core muscles in this move as well as back, biceps, and shoulders. In a strong plank, moderate dumbbells under the hands, Keep those hips still and quiet, row alternating arms up. If that bothers the wrist, dumbbell in between the hands, then alternate and lift it up from there. Alternatively, you can also go on the knees. Now, if that still doesn't work for your wrists or for your shoulders, then simply do the move standing. Looks like this. Hip hinge, neutral spine, arms straight, and alternate a row pattern from there. See, I got you covered. Second move, one dumbbell only. As mentioned in the warm up, we're working a lot of unilateral movements here so that we train your core hard. Dumbbell up, squat, press, twist. Woo! So we twist towards one side, press up at the same time. Third move will be the other side, all right? And then the rest of the exercises, well, I'll tell you when we get there. 
So let's get ourselves set up in whatever position you want for the first move. Renegade row, standing with hip hinge, on the ground with dumbbells under your hand or on the ground with one dumbbell under the chest. 40 seconds are on the clock. Keep that core strong, ready, and go. Dumbbell held up high, coming towards the rib cage. Elbow brushes past the side. Feet apart, keep those hips quiet, baby cakes. Woo! 40 seconds here, then we've got 10 seconds to get set up for the next move. I love this move. A lot of people don't. If you're one of those people, sorry. <laughs> But this move is really good for you. We get so many muscles trained. Time. Standing. One dumbbell only. Feet shoulder width apart. Left hand. Dumbbell at shoulder. Squat down. As you come up, drive the dumbbell up and twist a bit to your right, pivoting on that left heel. Let's try it again. Oh, this is where I think I went a little aggressive for my shoulder. Ah! Now, if you do have shoulder problems, I don't, I'm just being a weakling right now, <laughs> but if you have shoulder issues, get rid of the dumbbell, drop down, or just do body weight. Don't let any of the moves hurt you, okay? No joint pain but you're just being a wimp like me. Suck it up. Oh. Done. Okay, so we've got the same thing on the other side. Dumbbell held at the shoulder. We're gonna twist and rotate to the left. Ready? Down, up. Woo! What a difference, hey? Do you feel a difference? I've got a total difference. This is my strong side. This side is built like the rock. <laughs> the other side is built like a willow tree. <laughs> New move coming up after this. Stay with one dumbbell, let's place it in the other hand. Left leg back, stationary lunge, nice and tall in the upper body. Ready, drop down, drive up, straighten that front leg. Front knee lines up with that ankle, don't let it go shooting past the toe box. Upper body is upright, so lean back on that back leg. Holding on to one dumbbell, again, that's that offset pattern I was talking to you about, where we get the core fired up further, because we've only hold on to one dumbbell. Timer goes, other side. Keep the form all the way to the end. Time, all right, other side. Nice and tall. So as we lunge, try to avoid dipping your body towards that front thigh, okay? Pay attention to that. That's happening to you. A couple things are going on there. One of them is tight hip flexors. So we need to stretch those babies out. I'll show you a stretch at the end of the workout. If I forget, remind me. <laughs> We're moving on. Next move will be on the ground with one dumbbell. Lift your bum up, off the ground, elbow lines up with the shoulder. Now extend the right leg off the ground. So we've got opposite arm and leg here. And now press the dumbbell up for chest press and lower. Back of the arm coming down on your mat each time. Hips stay high. If this is too much for you, keep that right leg on the foot, pardon me, right foot on the ground and keep the bridge though, okay? Still keep the bridge. When we come down, that wrist lines up at the elbow, elbow lines up at the shoulder, and then we're pressing above the chest, not the head. 
Whew. I'm feeling this more in this left glute. Holy moly. Die. Oh, hallelujah. All right, let's do the other side. So, wrist over elbow. Elbow lined up with shoulders. Hips up. Left leg off the ground. Go. When the timer goes, grab that light dumbbell. We're gonna need it for this final, final two moves. Now, if you are a beginner, you don't need the dumbbell. We're gonna show you how to do it with body weight. Keep those hips up. Again, you can have both feet on the ground. Just keep the hips up. Time. All right, lighter dumbbell. Elbow under the shoulder. You pick which side, we're gonna do each side. Feet stacked, lift up. Now that dumbbell is right in front of the chest, elbow slightly bent and lift up and slowly lower. No weight, same movement. To far further modify, you can drop that bottom knee on the mat. Good job. 40 seconds in a side plank while we also work into the shoulder. Keep that elbow under that shoulder. Other side coming up. Time. Woo. That's effective, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get our set up here. First right, elbow under shoulder. Dumbbell just ahead of us. Stack the feet or on the bottom knee. Lift up and fly up. We're allowing that dumbbell in hand to line up and come up above the shoulder, not going past. Now, good news. We are almost done round one. We take it to the top of that renegade row pattern when the timer goes. If you need a sip of water, I will give you 10 seconds. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so we need those pair of dumbbells coming up. Time. Woo. All right. So renegade row. Remember your options, right? If you don't want to be on the mat, it's a hip hinge. Single arm. Otherwise, we're down. Go. How's that head? Don't let her drop. Look slightly ahead of you. Get that neck lined up with the spine. Pay attention to your form all the way through. Hips are squared. Elbow brushing by the rib cage. Good job. Whew. Oh yeah. This one is good. Come on, you gotta love this one now. Yeah, come on. Good move, top. Here we go. One dumbbell. Feet shoulder width apart. Dumbbell in the left hand. Left hand resting at the shoulder. Squat, up, drive, little rotation, back to center. This left shoulder's burning. Time. Hallelujah. I don't know if that's like a weaker arm or it's just because we came out of the renegade rows. Here we go. Right hand, go. Squat. I think it's because we just came out of the renegade rows. Keep that squat pattern, neutral spine, tush pushing back, chest lifted. One dumbbell lunges coming up. Time. 
Dumbbell on the left hand, left leg back. Lean back, get yourself set up. Other hand on hip, go. Back knee coming down to your ground. Front knee stays behind the toe box. Straighten that front leg every rep. You should feel those abs fired up. With your hand on your waist, you should feel them. They are, are bleh, easy for me to say. They are working. Trust me. lined up again always get the setup before you start the move that'll help a million times with your form and I would rather you have four beautiful looking reps than 40 sloppy shitty ones and you can tweet that one out for me <laughs> One leg, one arm chest press coming up. Time. Okay, so let's get the dumbbell on the left hand. Okay, elbow lines up with shoulder, bridge the hips. Now lift the right leg off and go. I like to bring my other arm, my non-working arm, up above the chest so it provides a target for that dumbbell to come up and press against. So working chest, triceps, front of the shoulder, and then holy cow, a ton of left glute, hamstring, and hip. Woo! And then guess what? We've got one leg, one arm. What else are we working? Ab muscles, big time. Woo! I feel my butt dropping. How about you at home? Hang in there. Time. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Bum up. Okay, left leg extends. Go, press. Side plank with that light dumbbell coming up. The shoulders are getting tired, no need for the dumbbell. We can do the move with your arm and gravity. Bring it up to line it up on the top there. Boy, do I ever feel my core on this move. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Die. Woo. Hopefully you do too. All right, set up. Elbow under shoulder. Feet stacked or on that bottom knee and lift. Yeah, don't forget, comment below after you've done the workout. I'd love to know what you thought and where the heck you're working out from. Where in the world are you? Super cool to find out people all over the world are doing your workouts. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, final round coming up. Renegade Rose, last set's gonna be our best set, baby cakes. We got this. Time. Woo! All right, 
place that lighter dumbbell away, grab those heavies. Remember, you've got that option, standing with the hip hinge or here on the ground with me. Ready, strong plank, row. Hips are quiet. Gaze is slightly ahead of the dumbbells. Don't let the head drop. Standing for our squat and twist coming up. I wish I could turn my camera around right now. My dog's here, as she always is when I film. Just crashed. She's been sleeping all morning amongst 18 people in here working out. Right in the center of the room. That's where she likes to be. When we got people on the TRX, jumping, burpees, dime. You gotta work around her. <laughs> oh, that dog. Here we go. I'll try to zoom around on the camera when we're done filming here. She has dog allergies though. Can you believe this? So she constantly scratches and we've tried everything, switching food, raw diet, switching detergents because we wash her towels we dry her with. She's got a sheet that's on top of the bed because yes, she sleeps on the bed. Anyways, still not working. So the vet wants us to do this skin patch test to see what environmental things she's allergic to. Ugh. Which time? Stationary lunge, left hand, left leg back, which is $1,700. I said, let me think about that. That was a month ago. Now it's not because I'm a bad dog owner, it's just that's a lot of money. And I don't know where the allergies are coming from. They come and go. So I don't know if it's, she's slightly neurotic too. That's always, our last dog had a neurosis with flies. There was a fly in the house. He would hide either under the bed if he could or under the coffee table. So I've had issues with dogs with neurotic behavior. So before I spend $1,700, I just want to make sure. time because she doesn't scratch when we're out and about it's only when we're still so I don't know here we go bring her down if you have a dog do you have allergies does your dog have allergies have you noticed anything do you have any advice for me <laughs> but yeah we actually went to a dog allergist Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's not a purebred, she's just a mutt. Mutts aren't supposed to get this sort of thing. It's a purebred and a doodle thing. They get all those skin problems. She's a rescue. She's the cutest though. Die! All right, one arm chest press, one leg. So dumbbell on the left hand. Let's do the left side. Hips up, okay? Now take the right leg off the ground, right arm extends up as your target, and press. Yeah, she travels everywhere with us. That's what I love about Airbnb. You find places to travel with your dog. It's awesome. Oh, my butt is dropping. Oh, boy. Come on, timer. Die. Hallelujah. 
Yes, all right, so duly noted, left butt cheek is weaker than right. Here we go, bridge, left leg extends, go, press. Side plank with leg, or pardon me, arm raise coming up. Woo! This side's dropping now. Time! <laughs> These those last five seconds. All right, grab the light dumbbell if you'd like. On the right elbow, underneath the shoulder, bottom knee bent or legs stacked and lift. Lifting only above the shoulder, lower down slowly. Don't let gravity take over. You are in control. This is it. Last 40 seconds and then we stretch. Here we go. Right up onto the shoulder. Lift up and go. stretch I was telling you about. Left knee on the ground, right leg, ankle ahead of the knee to begin with. Lunge forward to line the two up. Squeeze and tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze that glute and feel that release in the hip flexor there. To take it up another level, inhale left arm straight up, exhale lean to the right. So this is stretching out the muscles that we use to squat and lunge with as well as notoriously tight muscles if you have a job that requires you to sit a lot. Very slowly circle the left arm behind, nice dynamic stretch through the shoulder. Straighten that front leg, toe up, chest over thigh, lengthen in the hamstring now. That area that we are warming up at the beginning where I said if you can't kick too high then we need to stretch this guy out because tight hamstrings can lead to low back pain. Now let's lunge forward again, this time I'm going a bit deeper. So slide the knee behind you more, bring the hands just on the inside of this foot, front foot, and then push the knee out, or just don't, you don't have to push it, just let it drop out a bit. Now drop this left hip to the ground, scooping the chest up a bit, looking slightly ahead or above. Couple breaths here, really getting deep into the hip. And push yourself back, child's pose to release the hips before we do the other side. Walk the hands forward, forehead to mat. If you have tight hips, big toes together and open the knees up a bit more. Slowly come on up, left leg, ankle ahead of the knee as you're set up, 
lunge forward to line the two up. Now tuck the back tailbone under, squeeze that glute, inhale, right arm straight up, exhale, lean left. Couple of breaths here, just holding this. Best time to hold stretches is after your workout when you're warm. Circle this top arm, this right arm, nice and slow behind. Front leg straight, toe up, chest over thigh. Are you able to straighten this leg a little bit more? Feel that pull in the back of your thigh. Bend the front knee, lunge into it a little deeper. Now bring those hands beside that left foot. Let the left knee just drop out a bit. Slide the back knee further behind you if you're able to. And then scoop the chest up a bit, shoulders are down. Look slightly ahead and above. Release, big toes together, knees open, sit back again for child's pose. Walk those hands forward to get into the sides of the body. Slowly come on up and give yourself a pat on the back. We did it! Total body ab workout done. So don't forget, subscribe, click the notification bell, and then drop a comment. I would love to hear from you. And then if you would like more out of your workouts, more out of motivation, more out of your diet, I would love to see you join our Patreon community. It's where we are getting fit and fierce over the age of 40. Check out all the info down below in the details. I've got the link and everything you need to know about joining down there. We'll see you next workout. Bye. And here is my girl, Bella. Bella. You say hi to everybody. And say hi. Say I'm Bella. I got allergies, but I'm a good dog. <laughs>